It's fall, y'all. What have you been up to? <laughs> yeah, I'm taking on the y'all from living here in Tennessee. Transplant from Ohio. Hmm. How y'all doing today? Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to our channel. My husband and I are resellers on eBay, sometimes Mercari, sometimes Poshmark. And I have a what sold video for you today. And unless you're new, you know by now that my what sold videos are what sold, bolos, and beyond. Because I'm limiting my videos to 10 items so that I can share with you more detail, more information about what I find and what it's worth, what it sells for, I should say, and bolos. If there are some bolos, I share that with you too. You know, bolo, be on the lookout for things that you can resell. So that's how I do my videos and sometimes I throw in a pack and ship. I don't think I have a pack and ship in this one, but if you like pack and ship videos, I have plenty of pack and ship videos out there on a playlist under our channel, Avante Avenue. So, so check that out. Um, yeah, what's sold? What's sold, y'all? So I'm gonna show y'all I'm going to show you y'all. So y'all just sit back and I'm going to show you a what sold video. Let's get started. You know I'm not making fun of my friends here. I'm just joining in. This first item is from Goodwill and yes I love to shop the Goodwill. I say I love to shop because Mark goes along but I'm not sure he loves it as much as I do. This is lying on its side right here. In fact, there were there are three of them. Burley, Ironstone, Staffordshire, England. It's a little wall decor molds. Vintage kitchen molds. What's the keyword? Farmhouse. eBay sold comps look promising. One had sold from 24 to 29, and another that I had in my collection for 39.99. It was only 3.99 for all three and they sold for full asking price of $59.99 plus shipping. Love that. This item goes way back. For those of you who have been with me for a while, this is something we bought at Kay's sale. You know the sale where I found the Fire King Jadeite bowls that I sold for $950? <laughs> that sale. No, this item is not a $950 item, no. It's only ten dollars but i include ten dollar sales in my video because i have some things that i'm clearancing out that maybe weren't worth as much as what i thought they were when i bought them you know those kind of things i think we all probably have them is ten dollars my goal no ten dollars is not my goal but i have some ten dollar items and i think it's only fair to share them with you my sale might have been small but it's still an opportunity to learn here is a four-piece sterling silver set that includes a button hook, and they took an offer off of $150. And then here is a two-piece set, antique sterling silver, that sold for $95, so not too bad. And then here's another stunning antique silver dog head, button hook and shoehorn, sold for $64 and had 19 bids. The challenge though, when you have ordinary ones, is that people lot them together and you can see here, two lots sold, one for less than 69, one for less than 75, and they just basically gave these away. And I also have something else to share with you. One of my subscribers had taken a look at our store and she discovered that I had my remaining button hooks in the wrong category. I probably did a sell one like this, but for some reason I had it in the antique sewing category. I was able to correct it and move it into the correct category. I'll show you here. I was able to move it into the correct category of vintage shoe accessories. It was actually quite challenging to find this category. I've never used it before. So thank you for bringing this to my attention. I got them corrected and I appreciate the heads up on it. I should have made this to A, B, and C because I have two more $10 items that I'm putting in this video, but they do not count as part of my 10. I have these two gingerbread Santa Claus figures that sold for $10 plus shipping and a ReStore find. This is a small heart-shaped trinket dish made in Japan, founded at the ReStore for about $2, and it sold for $10 plus shipping. This is another ReStore find. Not all of them have a nice selection of kitchen and hard goods, but the Johnson City, Tennessee one does.
So I, I was in this tub looking at these staples and found you know, the information, 210 slash 8, 5,000, 516, 50 cents a pack. Someone donated a whole bunch of them, apparently Johnson Stapler Repair. Didn't know there was such a place. And I'm gonna whisper here, they're worth about $10 a pack. So 50 cents, yeah, we're gonna pick these up. Now I just need to search this one, 210 slash 6 at 50 cents each. So that's an $8 investment. And if I just sell one of these, we sell for eight, one of these sells for 10. So kind of a no brainer going to pick them up. So far, I've sold a four count lot of the 210 slash six for $39.95. Yes, $39.95 as I predicted, $10 a box plus shipping. And then I had another sale. This time the buyer offered me $35 and wanted free ship. I countered and said $35 plus a message of please read shipping terms cannot be changed. This counter offer is plus shipping. Thank you. Did they buy them? Well, yes, they did. They bought this five count lot of 210 slash eight for $35. I have six boxes left, but as you know, I only spent $8 on all of them. So I made my money back and then some. Please tell me, would you have looked at these? Would you have considered these? Would you have bought these? Staples, who knew? It's not too often that you go to the Goodwill and you find something that you can buy in bulk. You know, lots of them. But this is one of those items and I still find them on occasion. I think that they're being donated by Ollie's that is in the same shopping plaza. Can't prove that. But I've sold lots of them and I still have more to sell. And so yes, you're going to keep seeing these in the videos because they're part of what's sold. I am so excited to find those. And there's more. Cool. We've got shoestring, fry blade, plastic fry blade, thick slicer, and one steak fry and one snowmaker blade. $1.99 each. This thick slicer blade sold for $14.94, and another one sold for $14.94. Let's jump over to eBay and check some bolos. On eBay, here are some veggie bullet sold comps. They took an offer off of $425 for this 20-piece set, and this blender kit 12-piece set includes five additional blades. They took an offer off of $375, and here's a 12-piece kit with four additional blades for $375. So if you can find the bullet and the blades, it sells pretty good. And some sellers are parting it out, you know, for replacement parts. So keep that in mind. If you come across one that's not working, you might be able to part out all the pieces. And here's a nine count lot of blades only that sold for $139. So keep Veggie Bullet on your bolo list. I can't remember where I bought this next item. Probably a church sale. Can't remember what I paid. For this two piece lot of brass cranes made in Korea, sold for $24.99 plus shipping. So what are these cranes selling for on eBay? Well, big birds sell. <laughs> like these 1940s vintage pair of large brass crane birds, 25 inches and 12 inches. It's quite a difference. They took an offer off for $149 plus shipping. And here's a smaller pair, which is similar to what I had, where they took an offer from $126 plus shipping. So here is a downside of list it and forget it, especially if you're a long-term seller like we are and we have 2,400 items to manage. Yes, sometimes I do not go back and check comps. Look here, to my surprise, two of these same birds, 12 inch and a seven inch sold for $84.99 plus shipping. How did I not know that? How did I miss that? And here they took an offer off of $64.99. So obviously, I didn't know that the price had gone up on these, $60. Oh my gosh, did I leave money on the table? $55. Those are 12 and a half inches tall. So yeah, I blew it. I'm not too proud to admit that I did not realize that these birds were going for more money. What I sell mine for? Not enough. This is an estate sale find on the last day when it was half price. You know, half price Saturday, do your estate sales have half price Saturday? Most of ours do, not all, but most. It's a vintage Asiatic Oriental man with a basket. It's a wall pocket. It was imperfect, so we had to sell it as is. And I do put as is in my title when I want to bring attention to that. 
Sold for $15 plus shipping. So do wall pockets have any value? Well, yes, they do. Here is a rare vintage red Catalina Island pottery wall pocket from the 1930s, and they took an offer off of $695. And this is a Roseville Wisteria 1993 vintage arts and crafts wall pocket sold with 40 bids for $606. Wow, that's a great find. And another Roseville Chloron matte green elephant skin wall pocket sold for $391. I have never seen anything like these. And here is a Kister Porcelain Bisque Rococo wall pocket sold for $339. A Murano Venetian glass cobalt blue $249. Roseville pottery an offer off of $295 two Roseville Foxglove pair for $2.99. I'm just going to jump down here to this vintage rare Lucy Watkins California Pottery. I often find California Pottery. Two of these sold for $250. So yes, wall pockets can have some value. So add them to your bolo list. Do you sell butter dishes? I've sold several now. And I think I found this at the ReStore. We like to shop the ReStore in Kingsport, Tennessee, and the ReStore in Johnson City, Tennessee. And I never pay more than a couple of dollars for these butter dishes. And this one sold on offer for $22 plus shipping. As far as comps for butter dishes, there are so many butter dishes sold on eBay that I'm focusing only on this same brand, Cook Street, Cook Street Butter Boat. And if you'd like to see all the different patterns that Cook Street has in butter boats, something I like to do is go to Google and choose images and then just scroll down through there and you can see all the different patterns. It's also a great way to get keywords and even find some other comps outside of eBay. So if you haven't tried Google images, check that out. Here is one with a blueberry design. Pre-owned, they took an offer off of $28.95. And you know what? We sold this same butter dish one time. Or maybe we still have it. Do we still have that butter dish, Mark? I don't know. <laughs> I think we sold it a while back. And then we have this three piece. Of course, they're all three pieces. This one, they took an offer off of $27.99. Uh, another one, poppy dish, same thing, took an offer off of $24.99. Here is a flower pattern in blue and yellow, sold for $24.99. So keep your eyes open for Cook Street Butter Boats because even if they're used, you can sell them for $20 to $25. Check your sold comps at the time of purchase. So I admit this next item is pretty odd, but I have sold quite a few filters. I can't remember where I bought it. Probably the ReStore. Probably didn't pay more than a couple of dollars and it sold for $14.95 plus shipping. I'm so curious if you would have picked this next item up. It's a Goodwill find, and we often find things like this, and I bet you, I just bet you pass these by. Because we tend to think of salt and pepper shakers in sets, I think it's easy to miss a shaker or a grinder when there's only one. This is a vintage William Bounds made from Maplewood pepper mill grinder with three settings, and we have found several grinders at the Goodwill over the past year. Paid only $2.99 and sold it for $25. I mean, that's a pretty decent flip, wouldn't you say? Can you find other William Bounds grinders on eBay? Yes, you can, and they're going for some good money. This vintage mid-century pepper mill set with chrome and acrylic sold for $109.99 and here's a smaller two-piece set, wood and chrome grinders, salt and pepper. They took an offer off of $84.88. And here is a single mid-century modern William Bounds grinder, pepper mill or salt grinder, sold for $79. I mean, that is great. Here's another set for $74.99. Here's a whimsical set, took an offer off of $59. You think that they would have gotten more for that? Here is a black and red single grinder sold for less than 65 so yes keep William Bounds in mind basically when you find a salt or pepper grinder check the bottom look for a signature that is your key to keep researching it further no signature while well, you can use Google Lens and take a photo of it but look for a signature especially William Bounds yeah we pick up grinders 
Make sure they're in good condition, they don't have any rust, and check your sold comps. This next item is a church rummage sale find paid $5. That's paying up at a church rummage sale. It's a beautiful flower vase. The style is Eleanor and it's American cut crystal glass featuring a pinwheel and fan pattern. Absolutely gorgeous. As I said, paid $5 for it. It sold for full asking price of $29.95 plus shipping. Love that. This is our vase, and let's just take a look at some other vases selling on here. $19.99, $19.99, $29.99, another $29.99, $20, $33, $22, $28, They're all mixed up here in $89 and $725. So if you find a beautiful vase, take a minute, Google Lens it, and do some research. I think we'll ever fit in here. You all, y'all. Oh, someone the other day told me, since we're from Ohio, we should be saying Yuns. Do you say Yuns? Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue, and Mark and I will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe.